episode of Mad as a Goat. Now today I want to talk about opinion. Basically what the genre that I do on this channel, ranting, is based off. It, it's the whole thing. It's just opinion. Say your opinion, get people to react to it and to interact with it, thus either shaping their mind or partly shaping yours or a little bit of both. Or at least that was my intention with starting Mad as a Goat. It does seem to come across as a pretentious person going, I am right and you are wrong. I am just expressing opinion with a lot of gusto. Because if I just basically stood here and said, Welcome to Mad as a Goat. Today I think people who drive aggressively and hurt people are horrible. And I don't like their actions. It would be very, very bland and boring to watch. And considering that I have a tendency to talk a lot and usually fill up about at least eight minutes, Man, eight minutes of that monotonous shit would drive anyone insane, even me, while having to edit it. Even though the edit's really simple, and I didn't say that very well. Is it going to edit around it? Of course not. Now, with opinion, it's kind of funny. Some people get a little bit too worked up about small opinions. There are big opinions that some people hold, which are just like, no, no. Like, you know, someone saying that it's okay to murder people because they're gay. Like, I saw this horrible thing on YouTube, this documentary, that apparently in Russia, because of some sort of fucked up loophole in their law system, there was like this website full of videos of dudes going around and beating the shit out of gay people just because they're gay. I've never understood, like, prejudice based on someone's sexual orientation or race, or even religion for that matter. You know, it, to me, maybe because I'm honestly a bit simple-minded, I just trust people at first until they're like, oh shit, don't, or no, they're cool, and then it's all... I really am not really into judging people very... And like, you know, like, oh, they're that race, so you know what that means? I don't understand any of that, because I've met, like, mostly white people, Anglo people, and all of them are very different. And all the other people that I've met of other ethnic groups are all very different in a, you know various ways. It just seems to be we're all the same, but we look a little different. We say a few things different. You know, maybe we believe in different gods and shit, but it's all the same shit. And when you start looking at religion, you start seeing how, like, that's... It's all just the same thing. There isn't really any reason really for war it's not necessary it's just something that happens because i guess people are like that and it's opinions that start these things and that's basically all religion and race and on um, language even you know oh this is how you say this word or how you express this but really it's just down to opinion whatever gets the message across is a language you know there's like um language made up in like gaming and shit like you got the classic pwned you know spelt with a p or is it owned i don't fucking know and then you got all that other elite speak stuff and all these languages and you could say they're not languages but they are because they communicate so it's all just the same shit it's just different ways of saying the same stuff when you really boil it down some are a little bit more complex some are less complex some are like borderline like why even have it like lol and it's kind of silly to use lol. I use it, but... Anyway, getting off it. It all comes down to opinion, and most problems are caused by opinion. Most conflicts are caused by opinion. Like, think of the classic scene that, you know, if you see a movie about nerds, and they go into the nightclub, and they see a girl, and then the guy, you know, the boyfriend comes over, and he's like, look at my girl. He is under the opinion, or under the idea of thinking that this nerd is trying to have sexual intercourse with said woman just off physical appearance and it's all just a conflict that starts from opinion but if he had proof to back it up it would no longer be opinion you know what I mean opinions a pretty dangerous thing because depending on your opinion and the way you articulate it and the way you communicate it and how many people you know get to understand what you're saying it can have 
a huge repercussions. Like think of the Westboro Baptist Church. Now to most of us on planet Earth, the stuff they did was just psychotic and horrible and it's like, you know, being offensive is cool, but then there's just, that's, that's not offensive, that's just horrible. Like they go, you know, I've mentioned it before, you know, soldiers funerals, oh no fag troops and all this stuff. And all these weird song parody things and all this horrible stuff they done. That was opinion, but uh, you got to admit, for what their opinion was and how offensive it was, they did get quite a bit of a following. And that's when opinion, when mass generated and, you know, going around the world kind of thing can become dangerous. I think terrorism itself, all this ISIS and Taliban and all that, probably started off an opinion. Someone probably said, we don't have a good here, they have a good there, we should kill them and take it. And most of us will go, kill them and take it, maybe that's extreme, maybe we should go over there and shit. No, kill them and take it, it was just an opinion, and it started and it grew. And then more elements from other people who joined it, kind of like too many cooks in the kitchen spoil the broth sort of situation, they start bringing religion in and race and, you know, economies and oil and all this shit. And now you've got this huge clusterfuck of opinions and look what's going on over there. It's pretty, pretty sad shit on both sides, you know. It's not cool that people get shot in the face or blown up. Like, you wouldn't want that to happen to you, would you? It, you can empathize with that, like standing on a landmine or even just not having any food or a house and stuff. We all like have beds and locked doors and stuff. Imagine people in those places where the wall's blown out and there's fucking dust everywhere and, you know, people are dying and pretty horrible. And it could have possibly, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm under the opinion or under the idea and I'm not expressing that well, but it's still communication in my opinion. Anyway, you know, that it all just started from someone's opinion. All conflicts start from someone's opinion, you know. And even bad behaviour can come from someone's opinion. Like people who, you ever seen that person, you're in the supermarket and they're looking for something and they're like a goddamn like tanker. And they could be like a stick figure, but in their opinion, in their mind, the scenario going on is I am getting stuff and no one else is here. You ever know one of those people? Or even those road rage people I mentioned before, you know, they're just under the opinion that where they've got to go is so important that I'm going to smash you with my club lock. I don't understand. Like, you know, I get angry and I can yell a few things and then it's like, but, okay, logic's coming back because... You don't hit people in the face with a club lock for driving slow. That seems a bit of a crazy escalation if you ask me. You could just be like, observe it and go, oh shit, they're going slow. Like you can't really, I don't know, club locking seems to make it go slower even. Because once you've club locked the person, they're at a complete stop now. You know, oh they're going slow, club lock. Oh fuck, they stopped. Like you didn't think it through. You know, I can get a bit, ooh, sometimes, but even I can go, oh, wait, calm the fuck down, chill, you know. And it's all all because of our opinions and what we perceive. Maybe we should be more like scientists, all of us. And I'm not saying that we have to go down to the molecular structure of everything around us and fully understand and all the mathematical equations that explain it. I'm just saying on the simple thing of proof is reality. You know, you know what I'm... It, maybe I didn't articulate that well. I'll try this again. Basically, what you can prove exists does. If you can't prove it exists, then it doesn't. I think. Or with that, it, maybe I've mixed it up. Who gives a shit? Because, you know, some scientific theories say shit like, Oh, there's infinite universes and every possibility that can be imagined is it happening somewhere in a universe. It goes on infinitely. But... I don't see that happening. I think, I, you know, scientists may be under the opinion of thinking it's very, very vast and amazing. It's actually quite simple. And we're just on a rubber band. That's fucking retarded. Stays in. Anyway, that was my opinions on opinions and how they can form and do things and how at the end of the day they're just opinions. Like, if you watch this and you were offended at this or one of my other videos, it's just my opinion you know, open up in the comments section something to say, which I always appreciate, thanks to people who comment. 
awesome and send messages. I like communicating and getting different ideas. Maybe I said something you didn't... Oh, nah, that's wrong. Here's how you say it. Go ahead. It's good to be corrected, because that's when you learn. You don't want to live in a world of your opinions. You want to live in a world where you branch out and you take many opinions and you sift through the truth to the truth and become more discerning in your life and figure out what actually is. It's called growing. But you don't grow if you sit in your room and just go, eh, this is my opinion. You listen to everybody. Yeah. Even if you don't like their opinion. Why not? Anyways, that was Mad as a Goat. I hope you enjoyed it. Indeed you did, didn't you? Hmm. Somewhat sexual.